another Fendi handbag here to um, showcase. And this is another vintage um, Fendi checkered um, Pequin Boston Speedy type of handbag. <laughs> and um, I have featured two Boston Fendi's last week and um, this is in another pattern so I have the stripes Pequin style and then I also have the uh, pure gray and now this is uh, another um, Fendi checkered style and so um, this is um, bigger than uh, the others that I have uh, featured and um, I think this is my ideal um, size finally I would say this is like a 25 when it comes to um, comparison to that of a, a Louis Vuitton so um, not a lot of uh, people are aware that this checkered um, style that looks like the Ibin of uh, Damia Ibin of Louis Vuitton that this is also a Fendi because the stripes or the Pequin the long vertical stripes um, they're more uh, popular um, than uh, this style so let's um, I would say this is a medium small to medium sized um, handbag as you can see this is very very well structured and uh, this has a uh, bottom uh, feet studs the first two boston i featured last week they did not have any feet um, studs because one was a mini boston and one was just a plain um, gray and as you can see there's the fendi um tiny fendi in vertical writing intermittent when it comes to uh, the pattern so this is obviously coated canvas so <clears throat> all right from afar this looks like of course louis vuitton <laughs> but um uh, like the dummy bin so the, the insignia is here and as you can see there is a fendi and all on the sides of the this is a two-way bag i would say three-way bag because this can be carried handheld and you can also attach um, um a strap so that gives you the option and you can also carry this in the crook of your arm and yes this will slide through this will fit in your shoulders actually i just did it and yeah it's okay so <clears throat> Um, one nice thing about this is the pleating on the side. I just love the structure. It's very, very, I would say very, very well structured handbag. It has its own shape, the pleating, and then that's the bottom of the bag. It has five studs. Okay. Now this has a zip top closure, of course. And that's the circular um, Fendi zipper pool. <clears throat> and uh, this is, so it just has like, it doesn't open all the way, of course. So this is the interior of the bag. It's just one, um, this is very thick. Can you pull it out? No, you can't. Oh. Uh, you can you can actually pull the whole thing out so for easy um cleaning this is very very thick very thick and i like it and of course the plaque and you have to look underneath the zipper of course the underneath the zipper is the ff if you can see that it should be present and um i think the serial number on this one has been erased <laughs> it's somewhere somewhere here um could, should be. right there you go i i, I did 
I don't think this is a very very old bag although it's considered vintage because um, yeah this is still vintage it looks really really good it is in excellent condition guys so I think of the lot I really liked the gray that I featured last week of the lot um, I would say this is my favorite I did own the Damier Ebin of Speedy 35 two times that I sold both of them twice because it's just so hard to look for things inside guys <laughs> this one is a bit smaller of course than the 35 so um, and it's more structured so yeah so it's a um, um, bags like this I've seen them on the uh, on the website and um, sometimes they go up um, as high as twelve hundred dollars even farfetch guys they have used um, um, luxury bags already I didn't know that I thought they were just um, a lot of sites actually even Walmart I mean what's what's up with that but of course um, yeah and I just found out guys that I thought I was just being charged for taxes if I buy outside the country besides the custom stacks that I pay when I buy something out outside of the country but uh, I've bought locally um, this week and I've been charged twice I mean I've been charged with the tax so I think I'm not sure what's going on guys um, I think it's a Biden thing <laughs> everything is taxable even on eBay and every, I, I, I never used to get charged for tax until July 1 and I think uh, and it's very very expensive the tax is very expensive because uh, it's like I bought something um, not this bag I bought something for like 350 I was charged like almost $400 so I, I don't know what's going on so um, there you go so um, this was not uh, a cheap bag I would still say this is reasonably priced, but it's it, it's still expensive. Okay, so this this has a lot of life, and this is very durable. I'm telling you guys, this will last you for another probably seven five years. <laughs> okay, even if you um the wear and tear of this bag, uh, most likely is that it's just gonna get um scuffed or uh, here. It's just gonna get peeled here and you can always bring it to the cobbler they could replace the pipings here so that's the only uh, wear and tear on this one this one is a um i know that coated canvas is prone to uh, like marks white marks especially if uh um, yeah but this one doesn't have any of that so this is very very thick guys it's like indestructible so i think it's my this is going to be my go-to handbag it does have uh you know it's a bit weighty though but it's still you know it's still good okay there you go bye